Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah Allah family Welcome to the channel You beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself A wonderful day It sure has a, uh, been a couple of days Since uh, I last uh, uploaded uh, a video And uh, in this video I wanted to touch about A really recent topic A lot of you might have uh, Come uh, across it on social medias On Facebook, Instagram As well as YouTube and uh, Twitter And that is the topic of Israel As well as uh, Palestine So a lot of you might see There's a lot going on There's Jerusalem, Al-Aqsa, Palestine in Israel, Zionism, and because it's such a complex uh, topic, I want to make sure we get into the detail of things. So, uh, all of this uh, started with the political uh, establishment and founding of uh, Zionism in the late uh, 1800s. Uh, this was uh, by Theodore Herzl, and uh, he basically had the idea that. Uh, there has to be a political movement to establish a uh, land for the uh, Jewish uh, people, basically. So after uh, World War uh, One, when Britain took over uh, Palestine from the uh, Ottomans, they signed it away and basically gave it to the uh, Zionists that were uh, pushing towards that. So in the so in the Balfour uh, Declaration of uh, November second, nineteen seventeen, it was. Palestine was given to the Zionist uh, movement. So it's similar to me walking inside your house and telling you that uh, your house belongs to my brother from now on and he's going to be taken over. So over the years since 1917, once the declaration was put together, I believe in the early 1940s, that's when uh, Israel was uh, established. Uh, basically through colonization, they started taking small uh, land. So what has been happening over the years is that uh, Israel slowly takes part of uh, a land, starts building, building uh, uh, homes and settlements, and then basically invites uh, invites settlers from other part of the world to come and live in Israel. So basically, so they take those Palestinian land, um, build settlements, invite the people from Europe and uh, North America. And basically turn it into Israel and that's what uh, has been happening and they're trying to take away uh, homes in a uh, village called Sheikh Al Jarrah so let's take a look at this uh, quick uh, clip of uh, settlers that are basically kicking people out of that uh, village Jacob you know this is not your house yes but if I go you don't go back so what's the problem what you, you are mentioned. stealing my house and if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. See, SubhanAllah, it's really interesting. You know, the, the gentleman is saying that if I don't take your, your home, somebody else is going to uh, take it. Which I understand his his point and, and, you know, what he's trying to say is that, you know, it's not my fault. Because if I don't take your home, you know, if I don't do it, somebody else is going to come and take it basically so it's best that i go ahead and do it and save you that headache of having somebody else to come really really un unfortunate uh situation you know and as you can see over the years the palestinian land has keep uh, decreasing and the israeli land has been expanding and that has been uh, due to uh, colonization and you can consider it a genocide uh, war uh, crime because palestinians do not have an army do not have the weaponry basically to defend their uh, uh, homeland because uh, Israel is basically the invading and the colonizers and this is a fact regardless of for example somebody trying to say the people who uh, oppose uh, Israel or, or say stuff to support Palestinians or anti-Semites because when you actually ask Jews who actually believe and read the, the Torah it said for them that they cannot establish a Jewish state until their Messiah returns. Now before we start going in on Zionism and someone lies to you and tells you that I'm anti-Semitic it's actually forbidden by God in the Jewish religion for Jews to establish a state until the arrival of the Messiah. So the fact of the matter is that this is is more of a political movement that's trying to uh, basically kick out the uh, Palestinians from their land, take over that land and turn it into a new country. And this is not the first time that we have seen that. You know, when the European settlers came to North America, they did the same thing with the Aboriginal people who were living here. A lot of them basically uh, they were killed, a lot of uh, you know harm were done uh, to them. And now we can see the result of those uh, actions that the settlers uh, 
took in North America, for example, United States, as well as in, in uh, Canada. So, you know, Canada, for example, did the same thing to the Aboriginals in this part of the world. And so did the Americans with the Aboriginals in, in basically south of Canada as, as part of uh, North America when all the Europeans came here and, and settled. So they did the same thing here in North America and the exact same thing is taking place now in Palestine. And that, like I said, is a fact. Um, I know they say Israel has the right to defend itself but uh, when you're looking at it, it in reality uh, Gaza has been a uh, open space or open uh, sky prison they have been in lockdown for decades uh, now and nothing can is allowed to go uh, Palestine does not have an army they don't have an air force a navy troops or anything they're basically trying to defend themselves against a um, army that basically has high-end technology for example nuclear weaponry tank drones rocket missiles and uh, tons of money that comes from overseas to basically help them so you know we want to make sure that we, we share this we put this out there so more uh, people find out what's going on in Palestine and uh, this genocide this uh, war crimes was taking uh, place in Gaza as well as West Bank needs to stop and we need to share this with more people so more people uh, find out and learn the truth uh, the fact of the matter is that we can only believe half of uh, what uh, we see and none of what we hear and all the media companies are uh, guilty of this they do not uh, cover the truth all the fact and uh, Israel just likes to demolish uh, media, media buildings uh, in uh, Palestine so that way the truth doesn't uh, come out but we need to make sure whatever we can do to share to put the truth out uh, so that uh, we can get uh, this uh, stopped so we need to ensure that we ask our governments to sanctions uh, Israel so this can uh, stop the apartheid must stop today if you agree with me please don't forget to like comment share with this with your family and friends let's uh, get uh, this video circulated around so we can uh, create more uh, awareness and give voice to those who are voiceless and are under uh, oppression